In this video, I'll show you how to copy MIDI from one groove to another, and not only copy the MIDI itself, but copy very specific MIDI parts. And this allows you to copy exactly what you want to another MIDI block, and at the same time, create new and hybrid grooves from different MIDI elements. So I'm in the Decades library, and let's load up a preset. We'll go to Tune Track, Valve Mid Punch. We're gonna change up the drums here, but let's load up a groove just to get started. We're gonna use this Modern Pop Grooves MIDI pack, and we'll grab one of the choruses here. We'll drag that into our song track. Now let's take a quick listen. We'll go down to the parts preset and we'll load this Rock and Fusion Pearl Kit. And I've now selected a completely different groove, still from the Modern Pop Grooves MIDI pack. This is from the chorus of the same song. We're gonna pull that down into our song track. Now with both of these MIDI grooves here, we're gonna do a bit of mix and matching using the copy MIDI function. Now maybe in this song example, I like the fact that this second block moves more to a backbeat groove rather than a roll-based groove. But I don't like the four on the floor with the kick drum. And I wanna use a similar, if not the exact kick drum that we have in this first MIDI block with our snare rolls. Well, I can quickly do that by right clicking. We're gonna copy the MIDI. And then on the second block, I'm gonna right click again, which selects it. And we are going to paste. And we want to paste on the selected blocks. Now I could paste all of the MIDI, but that's gonna completely replace all of the MIDI in that block, which I don't wanna do. Let me undo that, Command Z. And what we have is the ability to copy specific MIDI elements from the copied MIDI. This is extremely powerful and allows you to pull in exactly what you want to. In this case, I want to mirror that kick drum. So I'm gonna select kick. And now what we've done is we haven't added MIDI on top of the existing MIDI. We've pasted in to replace. So now we no longer have four on the floor. Now we have a more syncopated MIDI groove, the exact MIDI groove, in fact, that we have from this first MIDI block. You take a listen to that kick, that kick now exists in the second MIDI block. Completely changing the sound of the groove. If I undo that, we can go back. Now, by the way, right there, what I was doing was undoing and redoing my MIDI copy of the bass drum with Command-Z and Command-Shift-Z. That way I could actually audition the changes in real time while the MIDI's playing. Now we can continue this process. Let's say now, I wanna expand on that. I'm gonna Alt or Option click and drag this MIDI over so we copy it in its current state with the original kick drum MIDI that we copied over. We have a nice syncopated hi-hat there, but let's say I wanna build on that. Let's say I want a syncopated ride pattern. So I'm gonna to navigate to a completely different song still in the Modern Pop Grooves MIDI pack. This is under the ballad section. I'm in the bridge and we have some nice syncopated ride patterns here. Now because we have a fill at the end of a couple of these, I'm gonna go with this example number two, which if we listen to the end, the ride symbol stays pretty consistent. Now, I want to copy the MIDI from that MIDI groove, but only the ride pattern. I can do that and drag it onto this third block very easily using this groove parts. Now, if this 
is not visible, simply click on Groove Parts on the right portion of the Grooves tab, and you're gonna see all of the available MIDI for the groove that you currently have selected. You can see how that changes depending on what's available within that groove. I just want the Ride Symbol pattern, so I'm gonna click on it, drag down into this third MIDI block, and now I've added that Ride MIDI from that groove, which is a completely different song within the Modern Pop Grooves MIDI pack. Now let's take a listen to what we have. yet a completely different sound. Now let's say here I wanna change up the kick drum even more and maybe add some busier ghost notes. We're gonna copy this over, we wouldn't have to, but let's say we want to just keep building on this idea, Alt Option Drag. So we have our fourth MIDI block. We're gonna go to a completely different MIDI pack. We're gonna go to the Metal Fusion MIDI pack under the Halftime section. I'm gonna go to this Kick Driven Verse 1. This has a lot of double bass, and so we're gonna make this fourth MIDI block very busy with the bass drum. So we wanna copy that over. I'm gonna do that quickly by dragging right onto the fourth MIDI block. Now let's take a listen to what we have. Now I want to actually bring in the crash from this MIDI groove, so we have that crash wash. We'll drag that on top, and I want to get rid of the ride symbol. I feel like it's a little bit cluttered with the ride symbol, so we're going to go into the edit play style, which again, toggleable on and off from this little carrot icon on the selected MIDI block. I'm simply going to right click and say remove MIDI. So for this MIDI block, now we've gotten rid of the previously copied ride pattern. So now we just have that open crash and let's see how it sounds with the existing hi-hat and the double bass groove. And I think that's fine, nice busy groove. Now if we wanted to, again, we could go back into edit play style, right click on the hi-hat, remove that MIDI. And that's an option as well. So let's listen to the progression. Remember, we copied MIDI all starting with this first MIDI groove. And we just copied the MIDI from that first MIDI block. We pasted that in to another MIDI block, which by the way, we grabbed from the same MIDI Modern Pop Grooves MIDI pack. And we pasted exactly what we wanted, the kick in that case, but we could paste any element that we wanted. We could continue that process, copying from existing MIDI blocks and pasting only the elements that we want. Or we could go into the Grooves menu and you can select any MIDI from your MIDI Groove library and even fills for that matter, and using the groove parts, drag and drop only the elements you want. So let's take a listen to what we've created with this process. went from a very rudimental based example to some simple grooves built on it and of course ended with a very extreme example. But the purpose here is to show you the creative potential 
with copying MIDI from one MIDI block and pasting in very specific elements or dragging and dropping specific MIDI elements from any MIDI groove within your grooves library and dragging that into a specific MIDI block. Not only is it a ton of fun just to experiment here, but this completely opens up your creative canvas when you're composing and creating drum tracks for your productions. You never know when you will stumble upon the perfect groove that sets your tracks apart using this method of editing MIDI within Superior Drummer 3.